All right, Opportunity Zone. I'm kind of, as far as liking the Opportunity Zone fund strategy, I'm kind of mixed on it. You get a deferral um, on capital gains by placing money into an Opportunity Zone fund. That tax is going to be due in a couple of years now. So the way it works, if you have capital gains, let's say you've sold a business, you've sold real estate, stock, it doesn't matter what's generated the capital gains, but you can take that capital gain portion and place it into an Opportunity Zone fund and defer those capital gains. It can be qualified property, which is normally what we see, uh, where we see real estate involved in the Opportunity Zone fund. Sometimes it can be a business, but that's much harder to do. A case study we'll look at in a second. We had a client that uh, sold a business, had a lot of capital gains, and then built a building in an Opportunity Zone fund. That's kind of your normal structure. You can also rehab a building. We were talking to somebody earlier this year who did about a $2 million rehab on a, a vacant building to qualify for the Opportunity Zone fund. Uh, and again, unlike the 1031 exchange where you can't have any consumer consideration that comes to you with the Opportunity Zone Fund, you only have to invest the capital gains portion. So that portion won't be taxed. If there's other money that comes from the sale of the asset, you can keep that money uh, without having to incur the capital gains tax. The problem right now with the Opportunity Zone Fund is that capital gain is only going to be deferred to 2026. So you're going to recognize that gain. Let's say you have a half million dollar gain. You put it into the Opportunity Zone Fund. You defer that gain until 2026. You're going to pay taxes on that in 2027. We'll see, you know, in Congress of extending that, making it permanent. There's a lot of discussion, but who knows what will actually come out of that. So for right now, we're stuck with having to recognize that gain in uh, 2026. What's nice, though, is that property in the Opportunity Zone Fund, hopefully, is going to appreciate. If history has been any guide with that, it's going to continue to appreciate. If you leave that asset in there for the full 10 years, then all that gain gets wiped out. So you don't have to recognize the appreciation uh, on the asset once it's in the Opportunity Zone fund, but you do have to recognize the original gain that was placed into the fund. So we have clients that really like that. They don't so much like that they're going to have to pay their gain that's deferred. The thought is that we'll deal with that when we have to deal with that. We'll deal with that in 2026 and hopefully do some other planning to mitigate that gain. But we're going to defer it for a few years so that we can take advantage of the appreciation over 10 years and not have to pay any tax on that gain. It doesn't work for every client. They do have to be able to plan and have the assets to take care of the tax in 2027. But like I said, the elimination of appreciation while it's in that fund is, is pretty valuable. Yeah.